Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to the Israel Brief brought to you by Lay of the Land. I'm Rolene Marks and we join each other every Monday to Thursday when I bring you the top stories making headlines here in Israel and surrounds. So without further ado, let's take a look at those top stories and later on I'll tell you all about our social media. But uh, we begin with the IDF who announced yesterday that they had shot down a drone sent from Hezbollah in southern Lebanon into Israeli territory. Israel reserves the right to defend ourselves from incoming projectiles from uh, Hezbollah in the north or Hamas in the south. And uh, we cannot forget that these are two Iranian-sponsored proxies. And uh, now as things are escalating with uh, the Iranian regime, we've also seen a marked increase in tension on our southern borders. From late Friday night to early hours of Saturday morning, Sunday night and Monday night and even last night, rockets were fired from the Gaza Strip into southern Israel. Last night, two rockets were fired from the Strip towards Israel. However, they landed in the Strip. They did manage to set off the red alert systems in close neighboring Israeli towns. Meanwhile, Israel's security cabinet has given the go-ahead to the IDF that if the situation continues to escalate, the IDF can take widespread action. In other news, it was announced earlier today, and this is great news for travelers wanting to come and visit us in Israel, that from the end of May, Israel will allow in limited vaccinated groups. In June, we will allow in unlimited, unlimited vaccinated groups. And from July, anybody who has been vaccinated will be allowed into the country. This comes as Israel's travel ministry has announced plans to try and attract uh, overseas tourists from places like the United Arab Emirates while we are celebrating the signing of the Abraham Accords, the normalization deal. We are really, really looking forward to welcoming our new friends, but the pandemic has kind of put the kibosh on that. However, from the end of next month, we look forward to opening to them and many, many other visitors from places where the vaccine rollout has been successful. I know viewers in the United Kingdom are also looking forward to possibly being allowed to travel to Israel from the end of May. While the situation for COVID-19 uh, improves in Israel, the situation is not the same for other territories and Israel has announced that we will be sending medical aid missions uh, not just to Ethiopia, which we spoke about yesterday, but it has confirmed that we will be sending medical aid and whatever is necessary to our ally India. The uh, images coming in from India are absolutely heartbreaking. Israel counts India amongst one of our greatest friends and we will do whatever we can to assist in their time of need. It has also been announced that Israel has dispatched medical aid teams to the South American country of Uruguay to help them with the COVID crisis there. One of the leaders of the missions to Australia, to uh, Ethiopia rather, announced that it's Israel's moral and ethical responsibility to share whatever knowledge and expertise we have gleaned from the COVID pandemic to help those countries that are in difficult circumstances. And everybody wants to know who will be the next ambassador to Israel. Well, the U.S. President Joe Biden is tipped to tap, you try saying that, tipped to tap Thomas Knives as the potential ambassador to represent the United States here in Israel. Knives is Jewish. He does have uh, impeccable credentials. At the moment, he serves as the MD of Morgan Stanley, but in the past served as a senior official in the State Department under the Obama um, administration and is known to be a close associate of the current uh, Secretary of State, Antony Blinken. So while we wait his confirmation, we wish him every success and uh, any of the envoys either tipped to serve in Israel or around the world, every strong success.
So those are our top stories making headlines here in Israel. It's short but sweet today. But we have you covered with original content and today you can read all about a national treasure, Steph Vertime. It's up on our website at www.layoftheland.online and I promised you the details of our social media. So here goes. We're on Facebook at Lottle Site where you may be viewing this very video. While you are there, please share our content. It really helps us when you do. It also helps to tell Israel's story to many people out there who might not get the opportunity to hear news from Israel or to read about the stories behind the headlines or those stories you seldom get to hear about. So share our content, invite your friends to like us or follow us as well. We're also on YouTube. We have a channel there at the Israel Brief. Again, it really helps us if you click on the red subscribe button and share our content with all of your friends. Introduce them to Israel because, hey, why not? And we're on Twitter. You can find us at Lay of the Land 5. Why not tweet us and say hello and follow us there. So with the Wednesday edition of the Israel Brief, I'm Rolene Marks, wishing you a safe and healthy rest of your day. And we'll join you again tomorrow for the final brief of the week and uh, see what has transpired in Israel with regards to the government, with regards to ambassadors, with regards to coming out of COVID, all those big stories making headlines right here. Until then, Litva Ot, we'll see you again tomorrow.